Hey everybody, Phil here with Houston Kiteboarding. We're in the Pacific North Sports Store in Bellingham, Washington. The purpose of this video is to give you our take on the feel of each front wing and rear wing combo for the lift e-foils. Uh, this is something we take a lot of questions on and we're going to go through and ride each one of the front wings, including the high aspect wings, with each one of the rear wings um, in combinations and give you kind of our take on how they feel. Hopefully this video helps you out if you have specific questions about combinations, not only on the e-foil, but on the wing foil, kite foil, or prone uh, surf foil. Give us a call or, or email us. First up is this Lift 100 Surf V2 front wing. Fast and dynamic. Um, never been on this before or very minimally before this review. Um, it's my one of my new favorite wings on the e-foil. Fast, dynamic, high G turns, just slashing it up. I just love the 100 uh, Surf V2. You should try it as well, it's awesome. Um, as far as the rear wings go, went big first with the 48 and the 38. They made it very stable and easy to ride, but were a bit of a bummer just because they like to go straight and felt really fixed, um, you know, fixed on a line there in the water. Um, once I moved down to the 32, um, that felt much better. The 32 rear wing loosened up a bit and you could actually start carving. But the carved rear wings really stole the show. The 33 carve I found to be a very easy carving wing. Very dynamic, easy to carve. But the 26 was the best carving wing. A little more unstable from the 33, but man, that sucker can turn. High G, ex extreme turning, super fun on the water. The 25 was too small and unstable for the e-foil in general. I didn't really like it on any of the front wings. 150 Surf E2 is kind of the next uh, wing up. Um, this is a very popular wing on the E-foil. It's kind of a speed upgrade. You know, a lot of people get the 200 front wing with their E-foil and then they call us a week later looking for a, something faster or slower or different. The 150 is a typical recommendation and people really like it. Um, very similar to the 100 as far as rear wing recommendations. Um, started out with the big wings, which were stable, easy to ride, but they like to go straight, not a whole lot of fun. Once I got to the 32, things loosened up and it was a lot more fun to ride, a lot more dynamic. So I'd recommend the 32, um, but the carve wings again are the shining, the shining stars. The 26 and the 33 carve are just fantastic. So 33 carve is going to be the easiest to uh, carve and ride. And then the 26 is a little more advanced, a little more unstable but super loose and fun to carve around. 25 uh, rear wings, no good on the 150. The 200 Surf V2 is one of the most popular wings on the e-foil. It's kind of right in the middle of the Surf V2 line. So a lot of people get a uh, 200 front wing with their 4.9 or 5.4 unit. The rear wings are pretty straightforward on this wing. The larger wings feel less locked in because you're going a little slower on the 200. So the 48 is great, nice and stable. And then the 38 is a good kind of combination wing where if you want a little bit of dynamic movement but still want that stability, maybe you're newer. Um, the 38 is kind of the go-to for the 200. Um, the 48 makes a great gap wing. So if you're um, kind of on the fence between a 200 and a 250. Going with the larger wing on the 200 will kind of bridge that gap and make it feel a little slower. Going down to the 32 from the 38, it's gonna loosen things up in the pitch direction, but not so much in the carving direction. So if that's what you're looking for, um, it makes sense. But going to the 33 carve was a lot better um, for me personally. I really enjoyed the carving on the 33. The 26 carve felt too small for me. It was a little too unstable. So I found myself keep gravitating back to that 33 carve. Lift 250 Surf V2. Um, this is kind of the largest wing we typically recommend on the e-foil. Um, some guys do get the 300, but the 250 just seems to be a nice fit for most folks, um, especially on the larger boards like the 5.4 and sometimes the 5.9. Um, the 250 is great with the 48 rear wing. That's kind of the go-to. The 48 was made for the 250, it seems. Um, if you drop down to the 38, it gets a little bit more pitchy and playful, but you don't really gain much going smaller on the regular uh, rear wings. Going to a 33 carve, however, loosens up that tail and really gives you a lot of carve ability on that wing. Next is the 300 Surf V2, also known as the Sea Pig. Right, this is the 348 setup. Pretty, uh, pretty slow. Pretty slow. Let's see. Let me get a side angle here. Pretty slow. So we're just cruising around right in front of the shop. Got a couple of sea lines out here. I don't know if you saw that. 
They're just chilling. They're chilling. A couple of sea lions, checking it out. Um, anyway, 400, uh, or sorry, the 348 rear, very slow. You can see I'm just hanging out. This is about, let's see, minimum speed. Whoa, it's right about here. What is this, five miles an hour? Maybe. Very stable, very um, stiff. Yeah, not real dynamic with the 48 rear. Excited to see it on the other rear wings. Um, I think it's gonna be much better for the, the 300. You know, lift wings are so amazing. There's a huge speed range. I can actually go pretty fast in this 300. So the 38, 48 rear wings are an obvious choice and work really well on the 300. Um, going any smaller with the standard wings is uh, kind of a no-go, just like the 250. Um, the carve wings, the 33 was really super nice. The 26 was too small. I really like the 33 on the 300. Sometimes I'll take the 300 out wing foiling and I'm, I'm just blown away at the speed range. It has such a slow, low end, but you can just drive that wing um, super fast. And that was the case on these tests as well on the e-foil. Now on to the high aspect wings. First up is the 90 high aspect. This is arguably too small for the e-foil. Um, I took it out in the 26 car first and it was uh, too pitchy. It was, I could ride it, but it was not comfortable. Um, much better when I moved up to the 32 um, glide wing. Uh, that, was a, that was good, nice and stable in the pitch direction and I could actually ride it. Still not, not real fast actually, just lots of glide. That's kind of how these high aspects work. Um, the 33 carve was much better, dynamic on the rear end and uh, carving turns and I could manage it, but kind of overall, I like, the, I like the 120 high aspect much better than the 90. Uh, moving up through the rear wings, the 38 was good, very stable. The 48 was too stable. Um, I found it to be too stable to ride on this wing. On to the 120 high aspect. I really enjoyed this wing on the e-foil. It was fast with a lot of glide. Um, again, the, the bigger wings were kind of a bummer, really locked in. 38 was better, but the 48 was for sure rigid with lots of glide. If you want to go straight, you want to have lots of glide, stick with the big wings, but I'd recommend something smaller. Once I got to the 32, it was loose enough to make it fun and dynamic. Um, the 33 carve was definitely my favorite on the 120. You can see a theme developing here. The carves are definitely awesome on the e-foil. Um, so that's kind of my recommendation, 120 with the 33 carve. The 26 was awesome as well, but just a little pitchy. Like a little, it, it was easier than the 90 to ride, but still like you really had to be paying attention um, to keep that pitch angle right with the 26. The 170, high aspect. This is one of my favorite wings uh, for wing foiling in the surf especially. I also prefer this on the e-foil in the waves with the folding prop. At my weight, the 170s easy to catch and ride swell. Um, so during the test, we tried this with all the rear wings. The larger wings, the 48 and the 38, provide a lot of stability, make it easy to ride. And some people find it really easy to kind of get up and go on the 170 and the 200 high aspect just because they like going straight. So it kind of removes all that rolly instability for some people. Uh, my favorite rear wing on this guy was for sure the 33 carve. The 26 carve is just a little pitchy. It's a little, it's a little pitchy. Like on the wing foil, I don't mind the 26 carve, but on the e-foil, it's just a little too much uh, concentration on pitch for me. The 33 is much better. The 32 um, rear wing provided a lot more stability than the 33. It wasn't nearly as fun to carve. So I left it off the recommendation list for some of the other wings that are much better with the 170 high aspect. The final wing in our ride and review is the 200 high aspect, and Hana did that review. All right, Hana, post post ride, the uh, high aspect 200. Um, she went through all the rear wings. Uh, what do you think of the 200 high aspect with the 48 rear wing? I liked it a lot. The 48, the big one. Yeah, I like. Yeah, it. nice and stable. Uh huh. Slow. Slow, and then you switch switch down to the 38. Uh huh. How yeah. was that? A little faster. Yeah. Not, good. not a ton of difference. Whole yeah. Difference. No, there was a whole difference. Exactly. And then we switched down to the 33 carve, uh -huh. which was. I really like that. So, our audio, uh, we're having trouble with the audio. There's water in the microphone. 
what she's saying here is she really liked that 33 carve um, just because it it's turn turning ability it wasn't stuck on a line you know just pretty much what we've said all along this review the the turning's just great on that 33 car brings us to the 32 glide rear wing um, this has a little longer fuselage so it was um, loose on the back and you know not as loose as the carved wings but still more fun than the 38 and 48. The last wing we tried was the 26 carve and the 25, which we hated, obviously, but the, there's the 26 carve. 26 carve was fun, but really, really unstable. Just too unstable on the e-foil. Um, I, I, took, I took it out as well after Hana was done, and I thought the same thing. She hated the 26. Um, I thought it was too small as well, so we're kind of in agreement. That's our uh, recommendations for rear wings on the 200 high aspect. Okay, heading out to my local riding spot on um, Lake Watcom. We got the 4.9 in the back with the uh, 32 inch. Thanks for watching everybody and hope you got something out of this video. It was more than I thought it was going to be in the beginning. I thought it was going to be this easy thing. Oh, I'll go and ride some wings. No big deal. Yeah, like 42 combinations or something. It was a, it was a lot of riding. Um, but I, I learned um, a lot about the different wings on the e-foil specifically. You know, some of these recommendations, people are going to be shaking their heads and be like, oh man, you know, I ride the 200 with the, the 200 high aspect of the 26 rear carve all the time, and it's awesome on the wing foil. It is awesome on the wing foil, but on the on the e-foil, it's just different. You know, the pitchiness is not necessarily a good thing on the e-foil. So, you know, take take our recommendations with a grain of salt, but for the e-foil, these are pretty solid. Um, if we can get you guys rigged out with an e-foil, give us a call or uh, email us. Um, 281-508-6485. You can stop into either one of our stores in Houston or in Bellingham, Washington. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the water.